This art lesson is called Custom Color Wheels. Our learning goal is that you will be able to not only know what a color wheel is, but you will be able to design your own creative color wheel using either geometric or organic shapes. You are going to be using two important elements of art, obviously shapes. In art, we use geometric shapes like squares, rectangles. That blue one is a trapezoid. But we can also make organic shapes. And I think organic shapes would actually work better for this project because we want to be creative. Now this is a color wheel, but it's kind of boring because they're all just squares. Um, we do want to be able to identify the three primary colors. Do you know which ones are the primary colors? Those are colors that cannot be mixed by making, or cannot be made by mixing other colors. So we have blue, red, and yellow. In between the primary colors, we have the secondary colors. Orange, purple, and green are the secondary colors. So you're gonna need at least six shapes to put on your color wheel. Now I have more than six because I even added colors that are in between called the tertiary colors. Those are yellow orange, reddish purple, bluish green, and yellowish green. So you can add more than six colors on your color wheel, but you need to at least have six. So the first thing you need to think about is what shape you're gonna be making. You're gonna be drawing whatever shape you want on the index card. I recommend drawing an organic shape, one that comes from nature. And I thought a paintbrush would make a really good shape. So I drew my paintbrush on the index card and I cut it out with scissors. Now once you've thought about your shape, then you can get a large piece of white paper and you are going to fold it in half. And then you're going to take that long piece and fold it in half again. And you're gonna fold it one more time. And then we're gonna open it up and see how many spaces we have. So let's look and see. Oh my goodness. I have eight equal parts. Now each of those spaces is going to be one of the colors on the color wheel. So now I'm ready to get my paint. Okay, so whenever I'm painting, I like to lay down newspaper first because even though I'm gonna be cutting out the shapes of my, my paintbrush, I still need to paint a pretty big space inside of each one of these. So what I'm gonna do before I start painting is write my name and my code. So if you're in Miss Simpson's class, S4. Mistaker I think is T4. All right, I also got watercolor paints. Um, the first colors I wanna start with are the three primary colors. Yellow, although someone it looks like mixed some orange in there, so you may have to clean off your colors. And try to keep them clean too. I just get them a little bit wet and wipe them off with a paper towel or even my finger. <laughs> Yellow, red, and blue are the three primary colors. Those are the ones that you wanna start with. So I'm gonna write a yellow right here, a Y. I'm going to leave a space and I'm going to write red, an R. I'm going to leave a space next to the red and I'm going to put blue right here, a B for blue. All right, so now I have my spaces. I'm going to start and I got a small paintbrush, a cup of water, and a medium paintbrush. I'm going to wipe my paintbrush so it's not too wet and I'm going to start with yellow. And all I'm doing is mixing the water. These are watercolor paints. So you have to mix the paint with water for it to work. Now, I'm just gonna start painting this whole spot here because I wanna have a big enough spot for my paintbrush. So now I have yellow. Yellow is already in my paintbrush. And I know that yellow and blue are gonna make green. So I can write a G right here for my green. So now I can rinse out my paintbrush. I can wipe it off on the side and I can mix it in with the green. So yellow and blue will make green. You could try mixing those two, but make sure you clean off your paintbrush. Now that green's not very dark. So that means I need to add more paint. 
So I'm going to dip my paintbrush back in the paint and I'm going to make it a really nice bright hue. Hue is another word for color. So if you have too much water, your color is going to be really light. And we want these to be pretty nice bright colors. All right, I'm done with the green. Now I'm going to rinse out my paintbrush. And now I'm going to go to the next primary color, which is blue. So I'm going to mix my paintbrush in the blue. Keep mixing it until you think the color or the hue is really nice and dark. Ooh, yep, that looks really good. So I'm going to paint a big oval shape. And since we're talking about shapes, we can paint a big oval shape for blue. Now the next primary color, so yellow, blue, and red are the primary colors. I want to make sure I definitely have those on the color wheel. So I'm going to rinse off my paintbrush. Look, my water turned green. Because yellow and blue make green. Green's a secondary color. All right, now I'm ready for the red. Red is a primary color. You can't make red, you can't make yellow, and you can't make blue. But you can make the secondary colors. Wow, now I have some fresh, clean water. So now I'm going to go back into the red. And I need to add some more red and make sure I have a nice, bright hue. So I'm going to keep mixing the red. Now in between yellow and red, what happens if I mix yellow and red? Well, let me try. I'm going to put a little bit of red here. Get another paintbrush. Mix a little bit of yellow. And look what happens. It turns orange, but I have orange right here, so I could also just dip my paintbrush in the orange. So now I can put a little O here for orange. Now I'm, I have one, two, three, four, five colors. I need at least six, but you will even have spots for more if you want to paint more. I'm going to add some more orange. So the last color I need to have, if I mix red and blue, I'm going to get purple or violet. Violet is a secondary color. So I'm going to wash out my paintbrush again. My water's turning orange. And now I'm going to dip my paintbrush in the purple. So red and blue will make purple, and that's why it needs to go right there in between. So once I'm fit, ooh, that looks nice. I probably could make the purple a little bit darker, though. And make it a little bit darker ooh, or a brighter hue. Now if you look, I have these two spots left over. So now you can pick two colors that are next to each other on the color wheel and you can make a new color. So if you really like blue and green, you could paint this extra spot bluish green. Um, I really like greenish yellow. So I'm going to wash out my paintbrush. I'm going to dip it in some yellow and I'm going to paint a yellow spot. Then I'm going to rinse out my paintbrush and get a little bit of green. And this is called a tertiary color. If you look, it's turning like almost like a neon green. It's really cool looking. Once I have one of the tertiary colors, now I can pick one more like bluish purple. That's where I take some blue. And I rinse out my paintbrush and mix it with a little bit of purple. Ooh, that's a really cool color. So now I have bluish purple and I have yellowish green. So practice mixing at least two tertiary colors and then you'll have eight colors to put on your color wheel. Now I need to let this dry and once it's dry, I can take my paintbrush and trace them and I can cut them out and then I can get a black piece of paper and glue them around the color wheel. So I can't wait to see how great your color wheels turn out. Make sure you don't lose your template. So I'm gonna tape it or paper clip it here, put it on the drying rack, and then once they're dry, I can cut them out and arrange them. You have to make sure you put the primary colors in the corner, the secondary colors go in between. So you have to put your colors in the right spot on the color wheel. I hope you can do it. Good luck, I can't wait to see how awesome your color wheels look.